it's uh, nice to get out here in a bit of solitude uh, and get some fresh air and get away from all the city noise and all the traffic. These hikers in North Carolina are on the Appalachian Trail that stretches for more than 2,000 miles from Georgia to Maine, nearly all of it on public land. It's taken decades and multiple partners to put the Appalachian Trail in its optimal location. So this is Hump Mountain, and the Appalachian Trail is right at the top of that ridge. When they see a need, conservation groups buy land that might otherwise be developed. So this is the property we purchased, that's 324 acres, and that corner is there. You can see the property comes right up within 110 feet of the Appalachian Trail. Conservation groups and local and state governments have been able to do this because the money they need to buy land for public ownership and recreational access has been provided by the Land and Water Conservation Fund using royalties from offshore oil and gas leasing. For more than 50 years, the fund has been the most important source of financial support at no cost to taxpayers for thousands of public land projects across the country. Until now. The Land and Water Conservation Fund expired in September, despite broad bipartisan support in both the House and the Senate. Conservationists are campaigning to persuade Congress to fully fund and permanently reauthorize the program. Without the Land and Water Conservation Fund, many places that we enjoy would not exist. Including much of the Appalachian Trail. From This American Land, Gary Stryker for NBC News.